Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is MTG Strategist brought to you by Chuck Wagon MTG, who's brought to you by BC Comics and Games. So, we're uh, today, what are we doing? We're playing Goonies. Okay, this is a deck that Chuck himself put together. It's uh it's basically an explore deck with uh, lots of lots of interesting little intricate pieces that uh, all amount to massive card draw, card advantage and uh, creatures growing out of control. So, if you want to see the deck tech, the full deck tech, uh, you can see you can go visit Chuck's YouTube page, uh, Chuck Wagon MTG. Uh, this is his latest deck tech, and uh, he also has uh, contest pack openings, lots of fun stuff. He opens a lot of uh, interesting, um, uh, a lot of interesting um, packs and things that I, you know, I I haven't seen before. <laughs> so uh, it's a lot of fun, but. Check him out. Um, let's get started. So we're gonna take, since this is more of a fun deck, I think we can take this to just for fun for now. We'll we'll see how it goes from here. But uh, you never know; it could go either way. All right. So Glandoria. We wish you the best. Uh, is this what we want to keep? So we got our two lands. We have a turn one. We have a turn two. A beautiful turn two. I don't think you can get any better than this. Uh, we are on the draw so I think we can space it out like that get our wild wild growth walker out there hope we pull a land by then but if not we got that uh, Ixali's diviner so we can explore or there oh there we go there's our there's our thunder herd migration which can um, definitely help us out. Alright, so get our Dead Eye Tracker out there. I found Dead Eye Tracker extremely useful uh, for a lot of different situations, um, uh, especially for um, people who uh, play, do a lot of uh, graveyard hijinks. So you can selectively pull those cards right out of uh, right out of the graveyard all right so let's get our attack in first and see what they do swing in for one and then let's get our wild growth walker out there to reap the benefits of every explore trigger so hopefully we draw a land on the next one we, uh, a forest specifically if we can get that jade light ranger out there so it looks like we're going up against vampires possibly uh, and they're off to a actually a fairly slow start okay that wasn't the land we needed but uh, that's what we got so I think we save our Savage Stomp. Let's get one of our Ixalis out there. And maybe we'll, you know, in retrospect, I should have. Oh, do we want that one? On? Yeah, the, I think that's kind of the guts of this of this deck. You know, your those uh, Wild Growth Walkers. They're I think I would keep every single one of those. So let's move to combat. So 
but swing in. Off to a good start here, off and running. <laughs> and I think that ends our turn. So, uh, you know, right around turn five, I'm expecting possibly a fumigate. So I may hold back a little bit on a couple of uh, creatures. That's good that we have that second wild growth walker sitting in the um, sitting in the wings. So they're not playing creatures, um, which makes me think they're holding, probably holding a fumigate. And I've done that too when I've, you know, played a deck like that. I've um, I've uh, unintentionally um, drawn the fumigates first, and then had to deal with the repercussions of that. So I think what we'll do is get our. Um, see, I don't think we have a dinosaur. So let's go ahead and cast this. And get another forest out there and I, I think what we're gonna do here is just swing away because I, I, I'm expecting all these creatures to die I think so okay Maybe not. <laughs> Does that make me a negative person to think that they're just going to kill everything? Nah, I bet they're holding uh, absolutely every piece of removal in this. Um, so all of the Braska's Contempts, all the cast outs, all the um, Fumigates, all the, uh, the Ixalons, um, what is it? Uh, okay. So, um, no. So let's get. Get now. So now, a uh, path of discovery will give us that uh, double double trigger for explore um, mm, I'm still kind of apprehensive about let's put no let's just uh, go ahead and swing in so this is is almost definitely not um, vampires we're up against. Or maybe it is. <laughs> Dowsing Dagger. Okay. It's an interesting, you know, at least it's a an interesting deck. Some tender shoots there. Let's see. So let's. What do we do? Should we savage stomp? We can. It won't make it. So let's get a creature out there. Let's get two creatures out there. Let's, I mean, if they, if they have a fumigate, they can start fumigating their own guys. Yeah, we'll put this one in the graveyard. Oh, look at that. So Wild Growth Walker trigger on the second on the Path of Discovery trigger it uh, triggered itself. That's actually kind of cool <laughs> and a nice thing to note. So we'll do it again. I guess we're, you know, I'm keeping every single explorer creature I can find. Okay. 
Because look at that wild growth walker. I mean, I'm sure they have removal for it, but man, look at that thing grow. And we can't really affect anything right now, but at least we have a board state. So let's take a look at this guy. She actually bring up a preview. Preview pane. Look at that guy. All right, so he's gonna. Yeah, I can't block anything of his. So dowsing dagger is going to trigger. And then, whenever equip creature, you, so it's going to transform Dowsing Dagger, and he didn't swing. I wonder if that was a a click issue. Maybe he sees the the number of creatures. Can we Savage Stomp him? I think we can. So we can Savage Stomp. So we'll put. Choose a creature we control, we want you, and we don't control. And let's Savage Stomp. So, okay, so he pluses him up, which is going to in turn kill our guy. Hey, what can I say? It happens. So he's got combat tricks. That's what he threw out there. So the target gets plus two, plus two. Till end of turn, if it's a vampire, gets first strike. So, so he took six damage, which means. Hmm. Yeah, he still has first strike. All right. I guess that is what it is. That's all right. We got Jade Light Ranger coming at you next. So that was a that was a little uh, visual into his methodology, I guess you'd say. So he's got this vampire that whenever whenever it kills he's going to transform his dowsing dagger into oh no maybe he didn't so thanks blooming marsh tapped <laughs> so let's get our jade light ranger out there okay Uh, yeah, I like you. So now I got a big monster too. How you like me now? Take a closer look at this dowsing dagger while we have a chance. So it, oh, okay. Yeah, I think he's just keeping it because he wants the um, the big creature out there because he sees me going wide. So that's a smart move. So I think um, so we have two, five. I think we have. So we have um, ascend on the next turn. So we'll get our tender shoot dryad out there. I think that is the play for this one. So tender shoot dryad. This is going to so ascend will trigger and we'll start getting sapperling tokens tapped of course. Oh but it explores fatal push. Mm, I think we need this removal. Yeah, but we will get explore triggers like nobody's business. Um, all right, so I think we just passed turn on this. Though I, I honestly think that they're so they have a lot of flyers. Uh, we don't have any 
real way to to get rid of those flyers. Um, so by them not attacking, look at that explore trigger on every single one of those. The, I'm telling you, these sapperlings are going to be beasts. So, so he's going to try to gain some life. I, I honestly think, uh, see, if he would have been pounding away with his flyer, I think he's worried about playing defense a little too much. But I honestly think, you know, he's got, it, it's not a... Um, a super aggressive deck that he's built but it's a you know it's a decent little deck it can it can do some stuff and we don't have any reach so we can't block so we get another sapperling and I think our I mean our goal will be to just I think we swing in on this and yeah I think we just what are we at 17 hmm what do we need well let's get a wild growth walker out there we'll leave So we get the trigger from that and we gain a little life. That's just beautiful. Path of Discovery, Wild Growth Walker. Uh, play a land. Let's get our Seeker Squire out there. Because why not? So I think we're, we're going to outpace them. Do we want to? <laughs> Ooh, yeah, let's do it. That so this is kind of an evil thing. So I'm gonna try to get a second path of discovery out there, and it will. I mean, it's just gonna go nuts with these sapperlings. All right, so what do we do? We swing in with hmm, nothing. We swing in with anything right now no let's get a little wider you know yeah let's get a little wider so we're gonna double path of discovery but yeah I'll keep my fatal push up in case so I'll try to I guess I'll I can't chump block anything of theirs yeah we're gonna put you on top of the library again So we're just growing out of control. I don't think they're going to be able to outpace us. It's a beautiful setup. Now if Fumigate comes out, I you know I might be a little broken hearted. So our, I think our wild growth walker is just going to become so monstrous and untenable that he's not going to be able to really do anything about it. So now um, every sapperling is going to get double, uh, double explore. All right. So I think we have to pass turn on this one. Because here comes the, the first double explore. I just want to see the first double explore sapperling come out. Uh, yeah, I think the more creatures, the better at this point. So I'm going to... Yeah, so check this out. 
So they're coming in as five fives now. So many sapperlings. <laughs> and they surrender. Good game. <laughs> All right, so that went that went very well. Um, it was a single game, which I was kind of expecting a two game, but uh, very enjoyable. <laughs> uh, let's But I think the beauty of this deck um, is, so Path of Discovery, the beauty of this deck is the synergy um, you saw in the early game, uh, it, it allowed me to kind of set up the, my, my hand the way I wanted to play it. And then in the late game, if they let you go too far, uh, I think the Tender Shoot Dryad, once it hit the <laughs> Once they hit the hit the battlefield uh, with Path of Discovery and then a second Path of Discovery, I think it was just overwhelming uh, for the opponent. So overall, um, this is a incredibly fun deck to play. Uh, yeah, it's you know I wouldn't call it um, y you know you're not going to take down a tier one control deck with it but uh you're gonna you're gonna put some power out on the field and you're gonna do some things that are gonna uh, be a lot of fun for you so uh that ends our game for this evening i hope you enjoyed it uh, be sure to check out check wagon mtg his contact information on twitter facebook youtube and also uh kitchen table mtg is a if, if you're not familiar with that that is a host for um many many uh, Magic the Gathering content creators and just honestly a place where you can share your own stuff with people who are like-minded. Um, friendly atmosphere run by nice people but check out Chuck Wagon MTG. He's on there. Uh, you can find him uh, however is convenient for you but thanks for watching guys. Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.